I have a question from a student, Gaurav, class 12, and he writes, Dear sir, my question is, if current is a scalar quantity, then why should we define the direction of the electric current positive or negative in a wire? Okay, so that's the question. Now, whether the current is a scalar or is a vector, this uh, confusion arises in many of the students' uh, minds because when we study scalars and vectors for the first time, somehow we are made to believe or we start believing that uh, anything which only has magnitude is a scalar and anything that has magnitude and direction is a vector. Now, this uh, has its own problems. This has its own problems. Current is an example. Current has a magnitude and apparently a direction. And if it has magnitude and direction, then why it is called scalar? And if it is called scalar, why we are talking of its direction? Now, the first thing is, the current is always defined across an area. You have an area and then you say how much charge is crossing this area from one side to the other side. So per unit time that charge, dq dt, that we say it is a current. So if you have a wire, if you have a wire and this is cross-sectional area and then the charges are going and then you ask how much charge has gone from this side to that side in a certain time and then you define this as the current. So this area is involved. This area is involved. This current is over this area. Vectors are defined at a point. Think of electric field. You say what is the electric field at point P? What is the electric field at point A? How much is the electric field at a distance R from the charge Q? Electric field is defined point by point. Magnetic field is defined point by point. Velocity. If a particle is moving, then you say that, okay, when the particle is here, at this instant, what direction it is moving, what is the speed, and what is the velocity, force, anything, linear momentum, everything, you define at a point. Of course, you can add all those quantities and get a meaningful result in, that's fine. But basically it is defined at a point. You do not define what is the current at this point, what is the current at this point, what is the current at this point. Current is on this whole area. And suppose if you have a non-uniform wire, what will happen? Suppose your wire is like this and the charges are going like this. You can still define how much is the current through this cross section. You can still use this equation to say that okay, this much is the current at this cross section. But what is the direction of the current? What is the direction of the current? And if you think that you can do some kind of a vector sum, you will be in trouble. <laughs> because that vector sums will not be meaningful here. For example, suppose you have a, a current and then you say that okay, this is x-axis, this is y-axis and I take components. So this current has a component i cos theta here and i sin theta here. It's a vector quantity. Suppose you say that it is a vector quantity and these are the components and this current and this current, if I add these two, I will get this. That's the meaning of component. But what physical meaning you can derive from this picture that this current and this current together they are equivalent to or together they add to this current. Currents produce magnetic field. So this current will produce a magnetic field of this kind. This will produce magnetic field of this kind. But if you remove this and have a current in this direction, I cos theta. And have a current in this direction, I sin theta. And ask what is the resultant magnetic field of these two currents? It will never be this. So what is the meaning of this vector addition? 
okay so in no way you can define current as a vector even if it seems to have a direction which is along the wire and which is along the direction in which the positive charges are moving or opposite to the direction in which the negative charges are moving even then you cannot define a uh, really it as a vector quantity yes if you reduce the area and take limit infinitesimal area and then take limit hmm, and then say that okay uh, take a very small area and see how much is the current and di and divide it by da and then put a direction because now it is going to zero this area is tending to zero so at this point what is the direction of that current that will be the direction of this quantity so define direction in that way and then you can define a vector point by point at this point at this point at this point and that is known as the current density which is which is a vector